Now, there's a section of the AMS weather convention that's less about theory and more about toys. Take a look at the gear that we found walking these hallways. So what is this, a weather ambulance or something? This is the uh, University of Alabama Huntsville Mobile Integrated Profiling System. And this is a series of vertically pointing radars and lidars. So They're we use, shooting right up. We have to sample whatever's overhead. So that means so we be have right to under be it. in the middle of the storm. We have to be in the thick of it. Why an ambulance? <laughs> well, a big box ambulance makes a great command center. We have lots of room. All of our equipment here is hooked up to all of the instrumentation, all of our radars and LIDARs. So we, this really helps us collaborate with other researchers out in the field for those big research severe weather field projects. Is the siren hooked up? The siren is hooked up. Over the years, we've seen a lot of underwater electronics, cameras, phones. But this is Crystal Group's fully submersible computer server, the same kind of thing that would run your Facebook account or your email account, originally designed for the US Coast Guard. This is now available to anybody who's got the dough and the reason to run the cloud inside an actual cloud. And finally, we got a preview of NASA's GOES-R weather satellite. Here's what weather satellites look like right now. Whoa, wow, what a difference. You can see a whole lot more detail. And here's what they will look like once Gozar launches in early 2016. You'll see through the eye of a hurricane all the way right down to the Gulf of Mexico. From Atlanta, Dave Balcom, The Weather Channel.